More news and more leaks are coming our way just a few days after the reveal of Mortal Kombat 1. This time, to prepare for its sales page, Amazon Italy has messed up big time and accidentally revealed all the DLC characters that customers will have access to when pre-ordering Mortal Kombat 1 Premium Edition. Now it's worth noting that the pack includes both playable characters as well as cameo. For those who are a bit confused, the cameo characters will not be fully playable but can simply assist you in combat. I have no idea how the assist is gonna look like, but many people think it will be similar to the character summon consumables you get in the Towers of Time in MK11. So without any further ado, these are the playable characters that will be included in the first combat pack. Number 1, Quan Chi. I guess everybody expected this character to show up. After all, he's Shang Tsung's closest ally and they even merged powers in MK Deadly Alliance. Now let's see how their reunion is gonna look like this time around. Number 2, Omni-Man. A prominent supervillain from the Image Comics universe. Number 3, Ermac. He's finally back as a playable character this time after the partial absence in MK11. Number 4, Peacemaker. The American anti-war diplomat who definitely is not gonna be part of the roster to make peace but rather make fatalities. Most likely this character is gonna be voiced by John Cena so I'm really excited for that. Number 5, Takeda, a Shirai Ryu member and Scorpion's favorite pupil is back. It would be interesting to see whether his father Kenshi will make an appearance in the main roster or maybe in Combat Pack 2. Number 6, Homelander. The main antagonist of the comic book series The Boys is gonna make an appearance in Mortal Kombat. On the other hand, as for the cameo characters, we have Tremor, Johnny Cage, Chameleon, Mavado, and Farah. Now you might be asking yourself whether Johnny Cage is gonna be fully playable or not, and despite many sources confirming already that Johnny Cage is gonna be part of the main roster, this leak made me doubt that, but then again it could be a mistake or a change of plans from the Netherrealm Studios side, which did happen in the past. In any case, that's all the leaks we have for now. Let me know what you guys think of the DLC characters. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.